farm in the uh, uh, left Cook Islands and um, came to uh, New Age. And this is Avaliki Pond, which is a uh, cave and pond where only the chief was allowed to swim. So no ripping off uh, the docks and going jumping in here today. by uh, Maori, local Maori. There are two tribes, two families on Niue. Back in 1978, there were 4,000 people. Now there's about 1,800 as most people go to New Zealand or Australia. Um, so you tend to see around not only just a beautiful island, but a lot of uh, ramshackle houses where people just live. Unlike Cook Island where the diving was boring, the diving here is quite good, as is the whale watching. Because as you dive along, up comes a humpback. I'll show you. impress me about Niue. One of them is the quality of their toilets. Middle of nowhere. Now that's a quality public day. Niue being a mixture of uh, lime, limestone and basalt has all these cool sort of caves stalactites and stalagmites all the way through them. It's a cool little adventure. No, I didn't like Cook Islands that much. But New I like.
anyway, ignore the fact that it's raining at the moment. It's beautiful tropical island paradise. It's got some all right diving, not great, but good enough to have some activity here. And you can go diving with the whales. Nothing like diving with the whales, listening to them sing, and you actually feel the vibrations through your chest. Now, anyway, there's not many things to do here other than a bit of diving and a bit of lazing around. So if you're after somewhere where you can come and just completely relax, switch off, no really reliable internet, no mobile phone signal, this is the place to come.